Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. I've been trying to space out four Red Dead Redemption 2 videos with um, videos from other video games. Uh, this video is going to be one of four at some point. So the mission is called Icarus and Friends. And Arthur is back from Guarma. He has tuberculosis, and he's found out that his friend John Marston is in prison. And he's going to try and find a way to help his friend out, help him escape. And Sadie Adler, a woman who the gang had rescued from the old Driscolls at the start of Red Dead Redemption 2, is going to participate. In this case, she hires a gentleman who owns a balloon so that they can fly over the prison and find out if John is in prison and where he's located. Things don't work out very well, and Miss Adler gets in trouble with the O'Driscolls. This is called Icarus and Friends, and let's get on with this mission. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So I too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Now, you ride with Miss Adler to the balloon and she explains the whole situation so I'm going to just fast forward through this and get to the main part of the mission. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. You have... Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. One hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, 
Liquids over the side. Solids. Do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Now, after that conversation, all you have to do is maintain the balloon at a certain altitude, and it will drift over the island for you to scout out John and find out what's going on. There's going to be some brief conversation with the guy in the balloon, and, well, you just got to maintain your altitude. There's about three minutes of time where you drift and have a conversation. Again, I'm fast forwarding this. The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. Well, I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. Please hurry. Nope, not there. Not in this field. This was not the tour I had in mind. That could be him. Yep, that's him. Ah, my God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that. Ascent! Ascent! Oh, my Lord. Absolutely insane. Oh, the wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Here, God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Alright, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <gasps> ah, there's Annisberg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. Now you have to try and keep Sadie alive and shoot O'Driscoll's while, you know, things are going crazy. It's hard to shoot from a moving object and shooting other moving objects. You got to kind of lead in and just, well, if you can, shoot the O'Driscoll's or shoot their horse. That's all you can do.
Now you gotta maintain balloon height and control and not wreck the balloon and hopefully help uh, Miss Adler while the bad guys are shooting at you. Oh yeah, this is a fun mission. Now it's just shooting a Driscoll's and trying not to die. And once you kill them all and get to the end, well, let's just let this play out.
shot you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Combe, the government. They got Combe O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No, but from the fields? Yes, that we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat. A little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. And that is that. You have plenty of time to loot the bodies of the O'Driscolls. You can actually use your hunting vision to see where the dead bodies are to loot. Now, you have to actually go to progress the game and talk to Dutch. Otherwise, you will not be able to meet Miss Adler at the area she wants you to meet her at. So, yeah, that is Icarus and Friends. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, well, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week involving video games, sometimes four in a row of Red Dead Redemption. And, you know, there'll be other video games involved like Vice City, GTA V potentially, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.